let's get started with a new video on our channel scale up india and in this video we are going to cover about the most infamous problem of n plus one problem so without wasting any time let's directly get started so now we are in our eclipse ide and as always i have copied from the previous demo so i have made demo 18 a new one and before we directly jump on towards the solution of n plus one problem let's quickly review what was the problem basically so currently I haven't made any change in the code and the code is still same like earlier so if I just open this pet repository IMPL so you see it is still the same code yeah so I'll just quickly start this one and I'll click here and I say run so let's try to solve the problem now if you remember in the owner side so on the owner side we mentioned the fetch type as lazy but on the pet side, the by default fetch type is eager here. Okay. So on the bi-directional side, non-owning entity side, we can't make it as lazy. So there it needs to be as eager only. Yeah. But with this, when I'm executing the query like this, select P from pet P. So although it seems to be a single query only. So if it is a single query, it is sh should be showing me all the pets and basically since it is eager loading so all the pets along with their owners so it should be showing me 72 output just with a single query but the moment i execute this by saying fetch all pets so since i haven't made any change so you can see the moment i execute this it shows me the correct answer all the wild pets domestic pets as well as their owners each and everything is correct here but the problem is that it is actually executing not a single query but actually 73 queries now why so the first query which you can see here it has been executed to fetch all the pet details from our tables so that was the one now the moment it fetched all the pet details it found that with every pet there exists a one owner also and since it is eager loading here so what it does is that it tries to load all the pets also no, uh, sorry not all the pets but all the owners also along with the pets now for that as of now there is no direct way that it can fetch all the owners in a single go so what it does it it tries to fetch all the owners one by one and because of this since we are having 72 pets it's a one-to-one -one mapping so obviously 72 owners are going to be there so it executes 72 extra queries here so that is a issue here and hence we call the problem as n plus one problem so why is it n plus one because one query is something which you wrote here and there are n queries which came automatically so for us the n is 72 here now currently we are seeing this problem because of eager loading but you tell me can this problem happen in the lazy loading the answer is obviously yes problem can happen there also because even if I make it as let's say lazy loading you will say okay then it is not going to fetch the owner absolutely correct but then what let's say there is a scenario where I need to fetch the adjacent owner or the pet details also so for that I will be obviously saying hibernate dot initialize as always so because of that hibernate dot initialize it is again going to fetch those extra queries so again irrespective whether you are making it as lazy loading or eager loading you are going to face n plus one problem here yeah so that's the number one issue now if that is the issue then how can it be solved so the issue can be solved very easily with the help of hql here later on i'll also show you that how we can solve it with the help of criteria builder but since as of now we are covering the hql part so let me show you here itself so what i'll do is i'll just close this from here and I'll go to this particular part so I will close both of them now what I'll do is that first of all let's execute this same query with the help of SQL here so I'll come here and as you remember that last time we ran these kind of queries in SQL so let me just increase the size so you see that when I write something like this so I'm saying select star from pet table PT domestic pet table something like this left join then left join on wild pet and then wear condition on this so it is showing me the details of a single pet now what i want is i want it to show me all the owners also but just with the help of a single query so let's see here how we can write this 
so here if I wish to write so obviously the solution is again I need to have one more left joint here so something like this yeah so I will be writing and let me call it as owner underscore table so this is the one and let's call it as OT okay so this is the reference we are using now we will see here PT dot ID that for every pet I want an owner and both of them should be matching that PT dot ID equals to OT dot ID so something like this we will be doing in this particular part okay so if this is the particular scenario or basically not OT dot ID but I need to say here OT dot and then I guess it is OT underscore pet ID yeah so this is more specific one that it should be for OT it should be pet underscore ID so now if I execute this let me see what happens so you see we are getting an answer something like this so we get a big answer we get all the pet details as well as we are getting the owner details also here so we are getting each and every part as you can see here if you wish we can enhance it also a bit instead of star we can write explicitly the column names and then we can see it in a better formatted way if you wish I can just quickly show you with the help of this so what I'll do is I have already made this particular part so let me just copy it and paste it here so yeah now it looks like this so I have just renamed or I have just named all the columns so that now we can see the same thing in a particular order so now you see ID so pet ID pet name gender all the pet details still here since it's a domestic pet we don't see any place of birth and then all the owner details we are getting here so again everything is working fine here guys yeah now if that is the case same thing we can do along with this select star also so let's make a quick change there also so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here and same way I will be copying this particular part and pasting it out here so because if I put star then you won't see it in a better way and you will see them in a jumbled way the jumbled way of the columns so now it looks nice yeah so everything is coming for the initial we are getting domestic pet details and then we are getting wild pet details but you see the size of your query so your queries are so much big and you need to make three joins so two joins so that you can get the data from domestic and the wild pet one join for the owner also but in our case the problem was reversed with HQL we were by default getting the owner details even without writing anything yeah and the job was to make it little simple so that we can get the details in a single go so what we are going to do is here we will just say that as of now we are just saying pet p and because of eager loading it is fetching but even that eager loading is making it to execute n plus one queries one main query and n extra queries so we will say that don't fetch it explicitly if you need to fetch fetch it right now that is just with the help of single query so here we will say join so this join is again represents the same join which you were using in SQL currently the join represents your inner join yeah so this is your inner join so we are saying this is the one inner join and we wish to join it with the owner yeah but here you don't need to mention the owner table explicitly as such or not even the owner table you just need to mention the owner class but instead of saying owner o we will say it like this p dot owner simple why I'm able to say p dot owner because if you see in my pet I'm having this owner so because of this I can easily call it as p dot owner so I'm in short I'm saying that whenever you are fetching at that time itself you join it with the owner yeah but as of now also this is just an inner join so this is not going to work yeah because it is still going to create issues for you so in order to tell it that you need to fetch eagerly just with the help of single query so you need to say it like this fetch so now the command is join fetch so join represents your inner join here since in my case it is just a one-to-one -one mapping so inner join is enough for me because I know for each and every pet I have an owner if you have some different kind of scenario let's say one to many or many to many mapping then you can think of left join or right join also but for me this is enough so inner join so this represents inner join and this fetch says fetch it eagerly so 
this is going to solve my problem same thing I will be doing something here also so let me just copy this and paste it here so this also will solve my problem so now let me execute it again after making the necessary changes so now when I'm making these changes so let's see what happens so first of all we will say fetch pet details yeah so let's say 2 and give the pet ID as 10 so you see only one single query got executed not two queries earlier for this also two queries were happening yeah now just a single query we are getting and all the details are coming so it is a left join so internally it is calling it as a left join later on but this is how the things are working for you and then you will see all the details for the pet as well as the owner each and everything is coming now you will say what about the other one so let's again say why and say fetch all pets so last time 73 queries let's see now so we can see all the details owner as well as pet we are getting here so that's good let's go on top and here you see we are getting 72 pets and see the magic just one single query so we have actually solved the problem of n plus 1 here very easily and the solution was that along with your join you need to mention a fetch that's it yeah and this is your so in SQL you call it as another table name here you just need to say o dot p dot owner something like this there in SQL you need to have a keyword like on also so like here if you remember we used to say that on what basis it needs to join two tables but here you don't need to mention anything because this is HQL HQL is intelligent here yeah so this is how it is going to work and as I say why HQL is a little slower because it needs to convert it to the as well but that happens with the normal hibernate methods also now let's stop this and do something similar for our owner part also so let's go to this owner repository ampl so this is my find owner so you see that when I say owner only so this time it is lazy loading so it is going to fetch me only owner so this is fine now I say find owner with pet so now what to do so again the same trick so here first of all I will join it with the pet now from the owner can I directly point to, to, to the pet the answer is yes so if you go to your owner class so you can say pet very simple okay so here we will come back and I will just say here o dot pet since you don't need to point to any particular column of the pet so you don't need to say pet p or something like this so even this is sufficient and since you want to make it fetch in a single go otherwise this is not even going to work here yeah so if you want to make it in a single go you need to say join fetch here so that's the solution so let me just copy this particular part from here find all owners you have already seen and here also I'll just paste it join fetch o dot pet and I'll remove this extra space from that now let's again see the magic so I'll execute the code again here and here if we go so yeah so first of all let's say fetch owner details so it's a simple one and within this only so if you see in this case one only I'm making two queries so first fetch owner only then fetch owner with pet so two queries will be executed okay for two different things so I'll say one here and ID is 10 so for the first time it is only fetching the owner details something like this and then the second time since I'm calling second method here so for that also just with the help of single query it is able to fetch the owner as well as the pet details so it looks good to me yeah now let's again say why and this time let's say fetch all owners three so only owners I'm fetching no pet details are here so it says there are 72 owners and a single query again well and good then let's go for the last but not the least so now we will say fetch all owners with pets let's see how many queries will execute it 72 output I have seen for every owner I'm getting a pet also here so this is again good and here you see only one single query got executed nothing else just with the help of single query we are able to get the answer so now onwards whenever the interviewer is going to ask you that can n plus one problem happen in eager or lazy loading your answer is going to be yes it can happen in both the scenarios 
what is the problem that along with your main single query n extra queries are executed the number of n depends on your data whatever you are having since we are having 72 owners and pets so 72 extra queries were getting executed solution you just need to go with the fetch keyword so you just need to say join fetch and the things are simple and there is no on keyword here so you see hql is so simple and hql is I mean very simple here yeah now you will say that okay Abhishek you are just showing only the simple queries so that's why I'm asking you that okay you tell me how can we make the queries complex so you need to tell me here some of the complex queries but just keep in mind our Pakistan scenario don't go for any other scenario which I can't show you here so you have already the code in front of you each and everything you can download you can try you tell me the scenario try to go for a complex scenario I'll try to solve it with the help of HQL and this we can say as a like a simple challenge okay so open challenge let's see can we solve it with the help of HQL or do we need to go to the criteria builder yeah so till then what you can do is if you found the video again interesting share it with your friends ask them to subscribe and I hope that you have already subscribed so thanks everyone